Hey guys, welcome back to this Bernard from BTN HD, and today is a video request, and this video request is actually from Dude Fox Live, and he basically says, "Hey, could you make a video on how to reinstall Windows 10 on a computer and keep the activation?" Now I have a Dell laptop right here. And within the Dell laptop, I have Windows 10 activated, which I upgraded Windows 7 Service Pack 1 to Windows 10. I did a video with you guys, and I'm going to place the link at the bottom of the description. So let's go into our little notification panel, all settings, update and security, and let's go into activation. And as you can see, I have Windows 10 Pro, and it is activated. Now, to reinstall your operating system basically means that you're wiping clean everything and just rebuilding your machine from the ground up. You're just reinstalling it. So that means all these programs that I have here, like my Camtasia Studio, uh, my Game Capture HD, all that stuff is going to be wiped clean. Now, Windows 10 already gives you this option to reset your PC. Uh, your activation key is actually hardwired into your machine with the hardware. That is how Microsoft activates your computer. And also allows you to reinstall the operating system with no problem because it's hardwired to the hardware. Um, so let's get started. Now again guys, you the activation process is one year for free. So if you get the ISO and you update your operating system, and it, it, eventually it takes a while for it to activate to the Microsoft server, but it does get activated, and it's a free activation, no problem. Um, but the process to get the free activation, you have to upgrade a current Windows 8.1 machine or a Windows 7 Service Pack 1 machine to Windows 10, then reset your machine to factory, and that's how you keep the activation. So... Let's go back into our settings, and you want to go into recovery, and the first option that you have is reset this PC. If your PC isn't running well, resetting it might help. This lets you choose to keep your files and then reinstall Windows. So I'm just going to click on Get Started. Alright, so once I pick on Get Started, you have two options. Two options are keep all my files, which basically removes all apps and settings, but keeps your personal files. And the second option is remove everything. Remove all your personal files, apps, and settings. Now, if you want to really, truly do a reset, I would pick the second option. So let's pick the second option. And it basically says, getting things ready, this won't take long. Now, eventually, you're going to get another question. It says, do you want to clean the drives too? Two options, again. Just remove my files. This is quicker but less secure. Use this if you're keeping the PC. Number two, remove the files and clean the drive. This might take a few hours, but will make it harder for someone to recover your removed files. Use this if you're recycling this PC. Hmm. Very interesting. I don't know if I pick this option, will it completely wipe my operating system? I don't know. I'm going to take the safe side, and I'm just going to pick just remove my files. This is quicker but less secure, and use this if you're keeping the PC. I am keeping the PC. I'm not recycling the PC. So I'm going to click this first option, just remove my files, and it says ready to reset your PC. Resetting will remove all your personal files and user accounts on this PC, and the apps and programs that didn't come with this PC and any changes made to this to settings. This would take a while and your PC will restart. So let's click on reset. And right now it's restarting. And it says getting Windows ready, don't turn on don't turn off your computer. Now before you even start this process, make sure that you hooked up to a power supply and uh, just sit back and relax and eventually it's gonna reset. And I'm assuming that you're probably going to get a dialog box to log into a uh, an account. All right, guys. So I caught a little problem, and uh, as you can see, it did not reset my machine at all. Uh, I received a WDF violation problem with no code to actually do some search. If you do a search for WDF violation, it basically states it's like a .NET 
framework driver problem, but because it didn't give me an exact code, I really don't know how to troubleshoot it. But there is another option to do a reset, and it involves a USB flash drive. And also you need to get yourself a copy of the media creation tool. So I'm going to start that up. With this laptop, I've been having a lot of problems with my mouse pad. So let me double click on that. And I will post up the link for you guys to get the media creation tool. Now this is a tool that I use on how to upgrade this machine, this particular machine. This is a tool that I use to upgrade to Windows 10. Once the tool launches up, you're going to have two options. Upgrade this PC now, which we don't really want to do because we already upgraded. And the other one is create an installation media for another PC. Now, I think on the video of me upgrading this particular laptop to Windows 10, I told you guys, once you upgrade to Windows 10, run this application again and create a media installation, USB, or download an iOS file. With that, that's, that's like a backup plan. So I didn't do it, right? I didn't really follow my best practice. So from here, we're going to pick our language. So my language is English. So let me get it here. English. Let me hit the tab to go to the second. Pick your edition. Now, this one is Windows 10 Pro. So just make sure you pick it. And make sure what version, 32 or 64. You can actually do both. But for now, I only have a flash drive with 4 gigs because the recommendation is at least 3 gigs. So I'm going to do only 64-bit. And I'm going to hit enter to next. And again, you got two options to create a media. Uh, you either do a USB flash drive, which you need at least 3 gigs. Or you can do an iOS file and then you can burn it into a DVD or burn it into a flash drive. I'm going to do a USB flash drive. And I'm going to hit next. Now, if you already have the flash drive plugged in, you're going to see it here in the list. Now, for my uh, experience, I've tried um, Scandis. I've tried even um, Iron Key from Imitation, and it does not pick up. I reformatted the flash drives as NTFS, FAT32, XFAT. It doesn't pick it up. The only one that it picks up is the Kingston uh, Data Traveler. This one, for, uh, for some reason, it picks up with no problem. So I'm going to plug it in. It's plugged in. So over here, it says plugged in. Now, if I go inside the list and I refresh it, it comes up, which is really weird. Really, really weird. So I'm just going to exit out of that. And I'm going to hit next. I want to create that right now. Feel free to keep using your PC. The progress is only 0%. And we're going to let this ride for a while and see if it creates the Boodoo Boo uh, flash drive for us. And then we're going to boot into it and we're going to reset our Windows 10 machine and cross our fingers that the activation process is kept. All right, guys. So the USB flash drive is ready. Super excited. So let's click on Finish. And let's see... I looks inside. I like to go inside the USB flash drive and take a look at how it looks. So right now, they renamed it as ESD USB. And this is all the installation files. Awesome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this up. And we're going to start the reset process. And hopefully the activation process sticks. I'm just going to turn it off. I'm going to go what I normally like to do. Uh, so once it's completely off, let's power it on. And you're going to do is press F12. Uh, you want to go inside the boot option, right? So I'm gonna I'm gonna do what I'm so familiar and comfortable with, because I'm not I don't really trust Windows 10 stuff. Now, most likely within your boot option, you're probably gonna see USB storage device. If you don't see that, go inside your BIOS and locate that and enable it. I see it there because it's already enabled, and I'm gonna hit enter. Now, if everything works well, I should boot inside the flash drive, and it will allow me to. Uh, reinstall the operating system, which is a good thing. Again, the only reason that I'm doing this is because I don't trust Windows 10 built-in stuff anymore. I already tried to do the reset and it didn't work. So I'm going to do what's natural to me, and that's shutting down the machine, pressing F12 to boot into the menu option, and picking the USB manually to boot into it straight off. Okay, this is a great thing. That means it's booted into the flash drive. 
So I'm going to pick English, yes, English, USA, yep, everything is good to me. I'm going to click on next and I'm going to hit install and let's see what options it gives me. Awesome. So now it tells me enter the product key to activate. I don't have a product key because again, I'm still part of the first year free thing. So I'm just going to say skip it and we're going to cross our fingers and make sure that the activation does get done when the installation is done with the you know the reset right or the reinstall so I'm going to accept the terms why not click on next and right now you have upgrade install windows and key files we don't want that we want to do a custom windows only remember a reset if you want to reinstall the operating system it's basically wiping it clean and just starting fresh so that's what we want so I'm going to click on this Let's click on format and let's click on OK. I want to format it. OK, I want a clean slate. So it's formatting. Awesome. We're going to click on next. And now it is copying the Windows files. It's getting the files ready for installation. And from here, it should work. It should restart so I could customize my Windows 10 experience. Once that's done, we're going to cross our fingers and hopefully it will get activated. Alright guys, so now we are at the portion that is saying it's time to enter your product key. We don't have a product key because again, Windows 10 is free for a year. So I'm going to go all the way to the lower left hand side and say do this later. And uh, let's get connected. I'm not going to get connected. So I'm going to skip this for now. Now from here guys, when it says get going fast, I recommend you guys go inside and customize the settings and just enable and disable what you want. Uh, because a lot of people have been complaining about the whole privacy and Microsoft spying on you. I'm going to use the express settings for now and because uh, I just want to get in right away. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not part of my wireless network, but as soon as I'm part of the desktop, I'm going to connect to my wireless network for the machine to get activated. Hopefully, it should get activated and we're done resetting the machine. Alright guys, so it restarted again and it's requesting or asking for the product key again. So I'm just going to do do this later and it's asking me to do to connect. So I'm just going to connect to my wireless system and see what's going on. I'm going to put the password in. Let's hit next. Probably I do need to have Wi-Fi connection for this stuff to work properly. Uh, that's good to know. So right now it's checking, all right, let's do the use express settings. It looks like the initial setup that I did with you guys didn't take because I probably didn't have any Wi-Fi connection. So you need to have a Wi-Fi connection for this to work or if you don't have Wi-Fi, I would recommend hardwiring your machine uh, through an Ethernet directly to your router system uh, so you get that great connection. So it looks like hopefully, yep, there it goes. So you do need a Wi-Fi connection for this to work properly. So if you do not connect to a Wi-Fi connection or do not have your machine hardwired to your router, there's a possibility there's a possibility that it's not going to work. It's going to restart again, and you have to do the process again. You live and learn. So right now it is getting critical updates, and don't turn off the PC. Uh, I'm assuming because it needs the Wi-Fi connection to get updates, that's when the process of activating the machine is done. So I'm going to let this continue and hopefully we log back into the desktop and check if the machine is actually activated. Alright guys, so we are at this part right now. Who owns this PC? My organization or I own it? I definitely own it, so I'm going to say I own it. Let's click on that and let's click on next and it's saying just a moment. Make it yours. Your Microsoft account opens a world of benefits. Sign in to your personalized. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to log in to my account. Now, this is my dummy account. And hopefully, I can remember my password. And we're going to sign in. I'm assuming if you sign into your uh, Windows 10 operating system using your Microsoft account, uh, that's where the activation process starts a little bit. And also the hardware is also hardwired. So I'm not going to set up a pin right now, so I'm going to skip that. All right, so meet Cortana. Now I'm not going to say not now, so I'm going to skip that now because I just want to get into my desktop as soon as possible. All right, it's logging in. It's saying hi. This is the whole animation process. It's going through. We're setting things up for you. This is awesome. It looks like it's working. 
But the final test is uh, during the re during the reinstallation of Windows 10, will the activation part still stick? I think yes, because there's a couple of things. Um, you have to upgrade a current Windows 7 Service Pack 1 or Windows 8.1 machine to Windows 10. I would recommend using the media creation tool and creating a USB. Uh, boot into that, and then you're good to go. Because once you upgrade your machine from Windows 7 Service Pack 1 to Windows 10 or Windows 8.1 to Windows 10, your machine is hardwired with the serial number. You're good to go. All right, guys, so we're inside our desktop. And I'm going to go to start. And within start, I am logged into my BTN HD production, which is my Outlook account. I'm going to go to settings. I'm going to go into update and security. And I'm going to go to activation. And there it goes. Windows 10 Pro activation windows is activated. So awesome. So reinstalling it work. My activation is done. I stuck. No problem. I don't have to worry about that. Uh, and that's it, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Leave comments right below. I will place the link for the creation to at the bottom at the description so you guys can grab a copy of that. Again, make sure that you have a Windows Service Pack 1 or a Windows 8.1 machine. You upgrade it to Windows 10. Double click on that creation tool. Create your flash drive using that utility. And there you go. That's it, guys. Uh, catch you guys on the next one. Peace out. Well, hello there. Thank you for watching the video, guys. I do appreciate all the support that you guys give me all the time. I love those thumbs up. There's uh, more videos, I believe, over here or over here that you guys can check out. And don't forget about hitting that subscribe button right below. And uh, follow me at Google Plus as well as Twitter to get the latest and greatest updates on all technology. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.